going up against a Hellkurt Hyper. Super annoying to deal with because of his ult. Since it blocks out your view of your teammates on your map. Although I feel like if you were in a 5-man and you guys all had voice chat on, if you guys communicate pretty well about your locations and how everyone's doing, you can counter Hellkurt's ult pretty well. Not completely, but enough to where you at least know where everyone is, who he's ganking, and all of that. Here... Probably could have helped out Leslie there. Not Leslie, one one there, but still not high enough level. Ended up being a good trade though. We got their tank and well they got one one. But I got some gold from it, so I think it was worth it. I'm not sure what the idea with Hilda going in there was. Especially since I think Bellaric's passive and his first skill are so super annoying to deal with. Early game. We have CC versus Hilda at bottom. Honestly, I think that CC wins that just because she's the newest legend and and she really hits you from a distance. Not bad. Again, the Johnsons just getting caught in all these team fights. They're not getting caught, more like He's just in really bad positions. Buy fuel for him, man. Like, as a tank, your job is to take the damage, right, and get some sets. But if your team is not doing enough damage, you end up just dying and wasting your sets. Here I know Hellkurt's there. So much CC there. End up getting out though. I wish I had my blue buff when the fight started. It would make dealing damage a whole lot easier. It's fine. Not bad. I do think at top though, with 1-1 one, one versus Leslie, that Leslie wins. Just because in order to get 1-1's one, ult off, you have to go completely around Leslie. But because Leslie has her first skill that makes her immune to basic attacks, it can be annoying to get it could be very difficult to get her hold off. And there I meant to target Johnson. That was really sloppy by me. <laughs> Although here I... I think I prioritized top lane. Since Wan Wan's really struggling up there. She ends up killing Bellaric. I think now's a good time to get Turtle since we have CC and Nana. I think Farsha is by herself. Really good ult by Nana. Completely stunned, Hellkurt. It's always nice when you're not the one fighting against a Nana. Actually, I was wrong. Earlier I said that I think I prioritize top lane, but 
I don't. I just pick on Hilda. Nice kill by Nana. I really should have been going to top lane a lot more. But I think that with my jungle rotation, because I always start off at blue and make my way to red, I just naturally go towards bottom lane to gank. Here, I don't really think going for that second layer tower is worth it. Especially when it's only been six minutes because you do so little damage to the tower. And here, I don't know what their tank is doing. After that really bad first invade, he's just been throwing. Here, my phone starts overheating, and so the game drops from 30, it drops from 60 frames to 30 frames. I think Hellkurt's at top or mid. Yep. I kill whoever I want to kill. Launch attack. <laughs> yeah, not sure why she's fighting that. Launch attack. Legendary. Especially with that level difference. I was level 10 and she was level 7. If I was a lot quicker, I probably could have gotten both. But it's fine. <laughs> Leading 21 to 8. One thing I like about Ling is you can just jump on the side of the landscape to dodge Johnson's ult. Here, caught way out of position again. Don't know why she went in by herself. Like the other team is just not playing well together. Like they're playing very individually. And I've had games like that. Not too scared of taking both Leslie and Hellkurt here, because I do so much damage. But I don't really go in, because it's just waiting for a set. Johnson almost gets me there. I think I only noticed him last minute. Here you just get caught really badly by everyone. CC's there by herself, but her lifesteal and her mobility are super annoying to deal with. And actually, because of her mobility, I think it makes it really difficult to hit her as Hellkurt. Yeah, that was really well done by her. I think she can actually handle that as well against Hilda, even though she had like 10% life. <laughs> Yeah, I gotta give her her flowers, you know? So, I'm just going with my normal build here. The crit damage as well as Blade of Despair. Depending on how far into the late game we are, sometimes I'll trade the Blade of Despair for Immortality. Just so I can be a little bit more tanky and not as squishy. Here, they're caught out, caught out of position. Yep, and now would be a good time to get Lord. And the idea is that if they try to contest this Lord, they're going to lose because of the level disparity and gold disparity. And if we do get Lord, we get Lord. And 
I think we are able to get all their inhibitors with this push. And that was pretty funny. We all used the same <laughs> emote. <laughs> Here, Hellkurt's out of position. He used his ult earlier, so he can't get out of that. Now it's a 4v5, 5v4. They can't really defend this. I probably could have hit the tower a couple more times. But it's fine because we have more minions coming. Your team destroyed a turret. Yep, and that's game. <laughs>